It is the easiest way for burglars to get into your home. And chances are you have one in your house or apartment. Tonight, a thief who says he made a living by breaking into 5,000 homes tells me what makes us all easy targets. Breaking in is never the problem. Move fast. Get in, hit it, get out. His orange suit, handcuffs, and shackles won't allow him to get far today. But this man knows how to slip in and out of homes without being caught. 5,000 at least. 5,000? Yeah, we used to, do, they used to do 10 a night. It was easy money and still is today. Gold's $1,100 an ounce right now. How much do I have to pick up to make 10,000? Are most homes vulnerable? Every home is vulnerable. Especially if you have one of these. Side glass doors. Why is that? Because usually they're not locked. Unfortunately, we're, we're, um, we're, be, we're making ourselves victims. Of the 200 residential burglaries in Martin County since January, Detective Carlos Chandra says 30% involved sliding glass doors. It's disturbing when you interview some of these individuals that we've arrested and they tell you, I walked into the house at midnight, the family was asleep and I'm stealing stuff and I'm giving the dog... Uh, um, treats to keep him at bay. There are dozens of products from bolts to bars that can help secure sliders. So if you have the screws in there, there's no play, it can't come off the track. A home alarm system provides peace of mind, but criminals know its limitations. The glass is not alarmed. The alarm is on the frame. So I'm going to go through the door. Never disturb the alarm. And since by law most sliders are made of tempered glass. Once that glass shatters, you walk right through them. The safety glass, you know, it's not going to cut you. Another easy way for a burglar to enter your home, a garage door left wide open. It took us less than a minute to find some in this neighborhood. The burglar's going to look for the easy prey. Which is often found in gated communities or crime watch neighborhoods. Why? Because if you have security, you feel confident that I'm not going to be there. And if you let your guard down and forget to lock a window? If you leave one thing open, then leave it all open. Because the thief is going to find that one thing open. What can people do to prevent people like you from breaking into their house? Only way to stop somebody is to deter them. Mm -hmm. Keep your doors locked. Keep your windows from opening up more than six inches. Class break, alarms. <laughs> That's the only way to deter somebody is to put glass break. Because when they see that old that glass break attached to that window, they know this is a well secured home. Stay away from it. Glass break sensors and detectors are sold by many alarm companies. You can also find them all over the internet. They can range in price from about $39 to more than $125, but could definitely be worth the investment. The burglar also told me hurricane impact glass. Mm -hmm. He said there's no getting through that. 200 pound guy can't break through it. So he said that too was a deterrent. Mm -hmm. Now, do the basic safety tips to protect your home? protect your family, do they work? I asked him a lot of those questions because I was like, oh, you know, what else can we do? And he said, yeah, turn your outside lights on at night and have a sensor on them. Mm -hmm. He said, make sure you cut back all the bushes around your windows. He said, it's so easy to hide. And obviously the point is they get in and out undetected and they're away and they're going after the jewelry and the guns and the cash and that sort of thing. So, uh, by the way, I wanted to mention he's not in jail on a burglary charge. No. He was picked up for loitering and prowling.